Assalamualaikum and hi everyone. I'm Anur Hidayah binti Wan Anwar, your biology lecturer for this lecture. In this video, I will explain to you on chapter 4 by the topic of DNA synthesis. On this particular lecture, you have three outcomes to achieve by the end of this video. First, on the DNA structure, you must be able to illustrate the structure of the DNA. Second is on the hypothesis of DNA replication, where you need to know how to differentiate the three DNA replication models. Last but not least, on the DNA replication, you must also be able to explain the semi-conservative of DNA replication. Now, let's begin with the first lesson learning outcomes on DNA structure and functions. Our main compound for this topic is called DNA. DNA is a molecule of a genetic material and this acronym stands for deoxyribonucleic acid. Alright, so first let's talk about the history and discovery of this important molecule. Actually, several researchers and scientists of many years has discovered the nucleus of a cell and substances called DNA which contain all of our genetic information. It involves scientists such as Frederick Griffith and Oswald Avery by their respective experiments. However, James Watson and Francis Crick has always wanted to know how the DNA molecules carries the genetic information by studying their structure. And uh, it was discovered by the clue made by Erin Chagaf, who found that in all organisms that he tested, the amount of adenine and thymine were equal. And the same happened to guanine and cytosine. The second clue uh, came from Rosalind Franklin and Maurice Wilkin, where they generated a DNA crystals and X ray to study the structure. The X ray picture showed uh, a repeated pattern. Um, which meant to be something similar to a helix. So finally, James Watson and Francis Crick combined the clues and they made the first ever three-dimensional model of strand of DNA. They constructed the model from tin and wire. In 1953, James Watson and Francis Crick introduced an elegant double helical model for the structure of DNA. And this molecule is said to be uh, encoded for hereditary information and reproduced in all cells of the body. They were also awarded the Nobel Prize in 1962. Because of the DNA is too small to see, so they had to build a model using X-rays and chemical information about the nitrogenous bases. And this is the original picture of the DNA model uh, made up by wire and tin at the earlier years. Um, basically, Rosalind Franklin's work was essential to the Watson and Crick's model, but unfortunately, she died of cancer due to overexposure to X-rays. Um, however, her lab partners, the Morris, uh, Morris Wilkin, uh, were also awarded the Nobel Prize along with the Watson and Crick because of his contributions to Miss Franklin's work. And this is the key features of the DNA structure. You can always observe the structure in forms of the partial chemical structure where you can find the double helix of DNA structure with uh, nitrogenous bases in the middle of the structure. And also you can uh, see the space filling models as well. Now we know that DNA is the genetic materials of living organism. Let's see how the DNA is looks like. Firstly, the DNA is double helix, where you can see the two strands of DNA spiral around one another, which resemble the spiral staircase or twisted ladder. Secondly, DNA is a polymer made up from repetitive monomers called nucleotide. Previously, you have learned the structure of nucleotide when where it is composed of three important compounds, which are phosphate, pentose sugar, and nitrogenous bases. In this case, the DNA nucleotide consists of one phosphate group attached to pentose sugar called deoxyribose, and this deoxyribose is attached to one of four nitrogenous bases, either thymine, guanine, cytosine, or adenine. 
Next, I will explain on the nucleotide structure of a nucleic acid. We have two different types of nucleic acid, which are DNA and RNA. From the picture, you can see the pentasugar is attached to one phosphate group at the carbon number 5, and also nitrogenous bases on carbon number 1. The similarity between the DNA and RNA is that there is only one phosphate group per nucleotide. And as for pentasugar, in the DNA, the sugar is deoxyribose, whereas in the RNA, the sugar is ribose. The third one is on the nitrogenous bases. The DNA and RNA share three similar bases, which are adenine, cytosine, and guanine. In the DNA, we have thymine, and thymine is replaced by its isomer uracil in the RNA. Next, let us discuss further on the nitrogen spaces in nucleic acid. The nitrogen spaces consist of two groups based on their structure that are purine, a double carbon nitrogen ring, and pyrimidine, a single carbon nitrogen ring. Based on the rule of the base pairing, purine must be paired up with pyrimidine by 1 to 1 ratio. For example, adenine is paired up with a thymine. Adenine is a purine and thymine is a pyrimidine. Next is a guanine, which are a purine, will pair up with a cytosine, which are the pyrimidine, and vice versa. As a summary for the structure of the DNA, is that the DNA nucleotide is arranged in a double helix, where the two, the two strands of the DNA are anti-parallel. They also have a sugar phosphate backbone with in the middle region contains base pairs. The base pairing follow the rules of one pyrimidine paired with one purines. For the conclusion, DNA supplies instruction for cell processes like how to make a protein. And DNA also can be copied each time a cell divides by the process of replication. It is also a blueprint of life where in every living thing we have a DNA in our nucleus or cytoplasm. For the overall structure of the DNA is that DNA is a double strand helix where you can find the two strands connected with each other and form like a twisted ladder. DNA also is anti-parallel, where each strand runs in opposite direction from 5' prime to 3'. Prime. Last but not least, it has complementary base pairing with 1 to 1 ratio of purine and pyrimidine. You can see the adenine will pair up with thymine and also the guanine will pair up with the cytosine.